What I love about painting is really just getting lost in it. And I always say I wish I could paint with my eyes um, because sometimes like the images that I can see or the images that I want to create, like I wish I could just create more of them faster. And I think being an artist is really about like creating something that doesn't exist yet and to remember it forever. This past summer, I had a show at the Portland Art Museum. It was called Away Home. Away Home really came from two things, sports teams. And then the second point of view is really about a journey. So the idea of Away Home, um, a journey really to finding myself, because this is the first time in my work that I started to talk about race and identity. I grew up in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm the youngest of four to a single mom. Me and my siblings have different fathers, so I was actually the only brown <laughs> kid in my family. I was 11 years old when I started really becoming a basketball fanatic. In school, when I was getting my degree in painting, I was painting basketball a lot. I was just like trying to capture moments, like the feeling of it from a fan's perspective, what the game looks like, or like the deep little kind of cropped moments of what's happening in the game and I didn't know why I was so obsessed with it. I think from a cultural aspect, it really was something that made me feel like I belonged to it um, because being mixed race, I didn't necessarily grow up with both races and understanding both identities. But basketball kind of gave me a cultural <laughs> agreeance with something It gave me part of a culture. It gave me something that I felt like I could tie into more. I could show up to school and argue about the game or argue about the best players, um, but I really, really loved it. So my father was born in Mohammedia, Morocco. It's a very deep-rooted <laughs> culture in so many beautiful crafts and arts and just like really beautiful language and food and so much color. So this is a piece called the magic carpet, and it's a Berber rug. It is woven in the Atlas Mountains of Morocco by women. And it is a piece that's really special because it comes from a sketch that I actually did in 2013, where I started to mix Moroccan tiles with basketball courts. Kind of fell in love with this imagery of bringing two worlds together. I sent it to Morocco, and it sort of became a beautiful conversation with Berber women who actually wove the drawing that I sent over. And where I'm sitting is sort of one side of the court, um, over here another side of the court, and actually these traditional diamonds that are going up are from traditional rugs. So the coolest actually thing, and I have a basketball here, I learned that this line and these two is actually the mark of the Berber tribe of North Africa. So it's actually the indigenous mark of my ancestors, <laughs> which is a really amazing and crazy moment because I've just been so drawn to the image of a basketball for so long um, that I didn't realize I was like being drawn to something that was part of me. That show at the Portland Art Museum was really the first time that I dug into myself in a way where I wanted to tell the story about what it is to be mixed race or what it is to be a woman of color what it means to feel like you're being put inside of a box. Genie in a Bottle, it's a self-portrait, and it's meant to be through like the childlike version of myself. And I'm wearing a basketball jersey, it's half in Arabic, it actually says my name in Arabic. But if you look at the painting, it's actually myself stuck in four walls, and it's the only Western frame in the entire show. And it's actually a big gold frame, like it must be beautiful because it's framed by this culture but actually it feels very trapped within the four walls of that frame. In one space, I look a certain way, and in another space, I look another way, and I never, there's not a space that represents me fully. 
which is why I think my work is really important because I'm creating the space that looks like me fully and inviting people into like parts of my world that don't exist in the real world. I just remember the opening of that show. A few friends of mine came up to me and were like, I feel so seen by this work. It was sort of an indescribable feeling because I had never felt seen myself before. It just felt like I was doing the right thing, that the work needed to continue to happen. So I became obsessed with sneakers, probably around the same age that I became obsessed with basketball. And for a while, I was just, you know, trying to wear all these streetwear brands that were really making an impact in culture, specifically in black culture. I was in high school, and we had an assignment to make a self-portrait. And I decided that my self-portrait was gonna be a picture of my shoes on the ground. And like, everyone started to know me as the shoe girl. So today I am a practicing artist <laughs> as well as a footwear designer um, locally here in Portland. This was like one of my favorite. <laughs> it's crazy because I feel like my practice in painting made me a better designer in a lot of ways. Shape, form, color, texture, pattern, all of the things that create a product, um, especially a fashion product, I'm using on a day-to-day -day in a different way. After a year like 2020, I felt really lost in my story in general because I didn't understand part of myself. And I think as I'm exploring who I am fully as a human, I'm just making work as it comes, which is a really, I think, interesting way to create work because I'm sort of healing through making. So this painting that I'm working on is part of a series that I'm calling Dream Girl. For me, I think the idea of dream girl, like it's an action. Like what are your dreams and like how are you chasing them? So I wanted to, you know, make an homage to my grandmothers because I feel like if I did have the chance to know them, like I'm walking for them in a way that their generation wasn't able to. Now I'm in a really interesting place with my art because I know I have a purpose to use this gift of creation in a really interesting way and to inspire the next generation of people to do the same. <laughs>